Welcome to Rauda Beyond, Life Beyond Metal. Hello and welcome back to Rauda Beyond, let's react and review James Bond movies. Later on some other movies as well, but now this James Bond project has been lagging a bit. I'm already mostly finished with the whole Bond series and I'm still doing the third movie reaction this time. Goldfinger from 1960s. So let's tune in for the trailer and uh, I'll react as we go on. Now I already watched this a few months back, but this is something that I already watched as a kid and I remember a lot in all the Sean Connery, James Bond movies as well as Roger Moore, but Sean Connery was always the James Bond for me. And these are some interesting um, things because already by this third movie you can see there's more kind of a martial arts inspired with creativity James Bond always has of course you know also charming the women always beautiful and all that stuff and always being very resourceful whenever he's fighting the bad guys here and uh, lots of different kind of action already on the third movie now the first one Dr. No isn't exactly in my opinion a good movie it's kind of a boring at parts, even though the basic uh, James Bond thing is done there. Already with the second one, and now this third one, Goldfinger, things are so much more. You have the cool cars, the beautiful women even more so. You have the fancy um, de agent technological tools. You have the, the classic James Bond humor, um, which is so many levels. Like, see this scene where this is happening here. First, he's trying to charm up the woman. Suddenly, let's go all the judo, and then it becomes kind of a goofy. And uh, yeah, this is like a combination of very goofy parts. Not as silly as Roger Moore, not as much humor, but still a lot of that. And a lot of things are played by Roger, uh, sorry, Sean Connery with the charisma and humor he is always having there with the smirk on his face. Then we have these bad guys and the biggest bank heist in the history kind of a deal. And much of this wouldn't make sense today. I mean, gold is not exactly the same as it used to be. Uh, a lot of these things couldn't be done in the same way. I mean, if you were doing the same movie, with lack of, say, diversity or women being just kind of a, a goofy tools and all. Uh, but a lot of these things are highly entertaining. If you don't take it too serious, like a political or, you know, uh, um, say uh, social commentary but just enjoy the good well-paced action you have the fancy technology of the age like laser is it going to cut James Bond in half you have these uh, evil villains which are kind of a super villains of their time with seemingly unlimited resources of money and all that stuff you have explosions you have gunfights you have everything now, one of the coolest thing, in my opinion, is in the, there's one of the, the villains' uh, sidekick, uh, the big uh, Asian guy with the hat that can really cut it, and it's it's a lot of fun. Um, overall, I would say Goldfinger is one of the better James Bond movies, especially coming with the Sean Connery era. So I would say still giving a shot, even though it can be a little bit goofy. But take it as you will. I still recommend you to check it out. Thanks for being with the video and all. Bye-bye.